English Story Times, Book 37, Story 4. The Happy Man Opening His Present. Line 1. The covered dish is like a present. The covered dish is like a present for the happy fat man. For the happy fat man. The covered dish is like a present for the happy fat man. Question. Describe, describe this guy. This guy. Describe this guy. What is the thing, what is the thing in front of him? In front of him. What is the thing in front of him? Well, the covered dish is like a present for the happy fat man. Line two. He's pulling the ends of the ribbon. He's pulling the ends of the ribbon to untie the bow. To untie the bow and see what's under the cover. And see what's under the cover. He's pulling the ends of the ribbon to untie the bow and see what's under the cover. Questions. How is he, how is he untying the bow? Untying the bow. How is he untying the bow? And why does he, why does he want to untie the bow? Want to untie the bow. Why does he want to untie the bow? Well, he's pulling the ends of the ribbon to untie the bow and see what's under the cover. Line three. We can say that, we can say that, He's unwrapping his present, he's unwrapping his present by untying the simple bow, by untying the simple bow. We can say that he's unwrapping his present by untying the simple bow. Question, untying the bow, untying the bow is like doing what? Is like doing what? Untying the bow is like doing what? Well, we can say that he's unwrapping his present by untying the simple bow. Line four. He's wearing a cloth napkin. He's wearing a cloth napkin tied around his neck, tied around his neck to keep his shirt clean, to keep his shirt clean or so, or so he, his shirt doesn't get dirty. Or so his shirt doesn't get dirty. He's wearing a cloth and napkin tied around his neck to keep his shirt clean, or so his shirt doesn't get dirty. Question. Say what you can about, say what you can about the white things he's wearing. The white thing he's wearing under his neck. Say what you can about the white thing he's wearing under his neck. Well, he's wearing a cloth napkin tied around his neck to keep his shirt clean or so his shirt doesn't get dirty. Line five. From the looks of the table, from the looks of the table, he'll be eating with his hands. He'll be eating with his hands. Because when the table was set, because when the table was set, they didn't bring silverware. Well, they didn't bring silverware. From the looks of the table, he'll be eating with his hands. Because when the table was set, they didn't bring silverware. Question, why is it highly probable to say? Why is it highly probable to say that he'll be eating with his hands? That he'll be eating with his hands? 
Why is it highly probable to say that he'll be eating with his hands? Well, from the looks of the table, he'll be eating with his hands because when the table was set, they didn't bring silverware. Line six, he's happy now. He's happy now, but will be happier, but will be happier when he starts stuffing his face, when he starts stuffing his face. He's happy now, but will be happier when he starts stuffing his face. Questions. When will he, when will he be happier? Be happier. When will he be happier? And if a man is eating, if a man is eating like a hungry dog, like a hungry dog, what can we say he's doing? What can we say he's doing? If a man is eating like a hungry dog, what can we say he's doing? Stuffing his face. He's happy now, but will be happier when he starts stuffing his face. Okay, here we go here, 46. The covered dish is like a present for the happy fat man. He's pulling the ends of the ribbon to untie the bow and see what's under the cover. We can say that he's unwrapping his present by untying the simple bow. He's wearing a cloth napkin tied around his neck to keep his shirt clean or so his shirt doesn't get dirty. From the looks of the table, he'll be eating with his hands because when the table was set, they didn't bring silverware. He's happy now, but will be happier when he starts stuffing his face. 